channel. Today's video is going to be another what I eat in a day. You guys seem to enjoy the first one, so I figured we'll make this a regular thing here on my channel. But as you guys can probably see behind me, the kitchen's looking a little crazy right now and that's because today is the Monday after Trevor's like birthday weekend we did a lot of celebrating if you missed that vlog I'll link it right over here but we had days worth of celebrating we rented a Duffy boat with friends I had a charcuterie board you know we had quite a few white claws some beer on his actual birthday we had sushi we had ice cream and donuts and then my parents also took us out to dinner and we had lobster and got milkshakes afterwards so for today's what I eat in a day I just kind of want to show you guys what I do when I need a little reset from the weekend how I kind of I don't want to say detox from the weekend because I don't know that all of these foods that I'm gonna eat really contribute to detoxing but in my mindset it kind of is because I'm not gonna eat anything bad I'm just kind of resetting to a good place of like really concentrating on eating good healthy food for the day for those of you who are new I do intermittent fast right now it's about 10 30 a.m. but I'm actually not gonna start breaking my fast until probably 12 30 or so so if you guys would like to see what I eat in a day to reset from a crazy weekend definitely keep watching and of course don't forget to like this video leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you're new I'm just gonna warm up some water. I don't want it hot, I just want it like nice and warm to do a little bit of warm lemon water just to like flush myself out first thing in the morning. When I do lemon water in the morning, I typically do it cold, but since I am kind of trying to flush my system a little bit, I wanna do it warm so it really will hopefully get everything out and kick off this reset a little bit more effectively. Okay, the next up is coffee, and for today, I am gonna be doing my favorite coffee. This is the Arpeggio for the Nespresso Inicia. And I make my coffee the same way every time. I just use some of the Coffee Mate Vanilla Natural Creamer, and then let my Nespresso do its thing. typically a pre-workout kind of girl. If I'm gonna work out in the afternoon or evening and have a really bad slump, I'll take pre-workout. But especially in quarantine, since I've been working out like midday or in the morning, I just basically save my coffee for like an hour or half an hour before my workout. That way it gives me like a good jolt of energy so that I can get through my workout and I'm more likely to actually complete the whole workout. So it's now about 12.30. I just got done with a workout, so I'm about to break my fast. And for today's lunch, since like I said, I am trying to do a little bit of a reset, I'm just gonna have a smoothie right back here. I have everything set up, and I've made this smoothie so many times on my vlogs, but I'll still go ahead and walk you guys through it, give you a little bit more detail as to why I use the ingredients that I use. So as you can see, this is an extremely simple smoothie, not a lot of ingredients, but honestly, it is super crazy filling and really, really delicious. So so I always start out with a frozen berry mixture. This one is from Trader Joe's and honestly I like theirs the best. This one has strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries in it. And then I also add in some frozen spinach. I do frozen, that way I don't have to use ice because as you can see I do use water instead of milk or anything which I'll explain in a second. So I just don't want to water down my smoothie too much. So going for frozen is better and then also too it stretches the longevity of the produce that I'm using within my smoothie and then this right here is my protein powder this is from dot fit I get this through the UFC gym that's one of the gyms that I go to and this is the pre and post 
Nutritionist Workout Formula and Meal Replacement. And this is in the creamy chocolate. You guys, this flavor is freaking amazing. It's so good. It really truly is creamy and adds a really nice flavor, which brings me to water. So I add water instead of milk. Back when I was about to fight to cut down on my calories in my smoothies, we started switching me to water and switching me off of milk. And I honestly haven't missed it since. So I do it now because the creaminess from this powder kind of replaces the creaminess from milk. So I don't have to waste the calories on adding milk into my smoothies. And I mainly just use the water to kind of thin out the smoothie a little bit so that the blender can blend it. That's all I'm really using the liquid for. Other than that, I want everything else in my smoothie to kind of be like whole ingredients. And then this is our blender. We have a Ninja. I'm not entirely sure which model it is. I don't think it says it on it, but I love this Ninja. Basically, all I have to do is press the smoothie button and it's a smart blender, so it'll blend it perfectly every time on its own. And then I just use like the little single serving. I used to use the big, huge pitcher and then I'd always make too much as in like double the recipe and then force Trevor to drink a smoothie. So now I've switched to the single serving. That way I can monitor my portion size a lot better. Along with my smoothie whenever I'm having it for lunch, typically I'll also have it with half of a perfect bar, but I am out of perfect bars for today, so I'll need to get some more. I'm actually gonna run to the grocery store today, but luckily I have these that I had gone from the grocery store not that long ago that I had wanted to try, and these will totally work in its place. These are perfect bar bites, so it's literally the exact same bar that I always get, just cut up into little cubes. You can see them down there. Then I can go ahead and open it up for you guys. So I'm just gonna snack on a couple of bites of this along with my smoothie. Okay, so it's a little bit later in the afternoon and I'm just having a quick snack. Normally I'd have like popcorn or crackers or something, but like I said, since I'm trying to recover from the weekend, I'm just gonna have a white nectarine. These are my favorite fruits and I'm so glad they're back in season right now. And then I think you guys saw this on the last What I Eat in a Day, but I usually drink half a bottle of this like every afternoon. This is the GT Synergy Kombucha, the strawberry lemonade one. It's exclusive to Trader Joe's only, but it is so good and totally worth the trip to Trader Joe's every week. Okay, so it's a little bit later, it's about 7.45, and I got back from the grocery store not that long ago, so I need to cook myself dinner. I already have some shrimp defrosting right over here. For tonight, I wanted to make kind of like a kale and orzo shrimp bowl, and I feel really ridiculous right now, because you guys, I brought down one of my studio lights. <laughs> The lighting in this kitchen is just like so terrible. And I told myself like next time I do a what I eat in a day, I'm gonna bring my light down. And I actually did it and I feel so ridiculous, but hopefully it'll let you guys see dinner a little bit better. But I'm gonna go ahead and prep the rest of the ingredients for this and then I'll show you guys how I'm making this little dish. I have everything prepped out over here. I have some San Marzano tomatoes. I just feel like these are sweeter and just have a better flavor than cherry tomatoes. So whenever I go to Trader Joe's, I always get some. And then I have some diced zucchini, a lemon, some reduced fat feta. I've talked about this before. I prefer the reduced fat over the full fat. I think it's because it's just a little bit firmer, a little bit drier, which I just like for some reason. And then we have some minced garlic here, some sliced Greek Kalamata olives because I'm such an olive girl, I add olives to everything. I have the defrosted shrimp right here, some orzo, some pepper, garlic salt, kale, and then for this I'm gonna be using avocado oil just because it's a little bit better to cook with when it comes to higher temperatures. And then I have some water with salt boiling over here for the orzo. And before I get that started, I just wanted to give you guys a quick preview of something for my upcoming Amazon favorites video. I got this recently. This is a strainer spoon. I love this thing. It's just like so wonderful for cooking. I'll show you guys like how I use it right now. And I'll give you guys more information in my upcoming Amazon favorites video. But basically it's like really great for straining like single serving stuff so that you don't have to pull out a whole strainer. And also it's like nice for helping to measure out portion sizes.
Okay, and then here is the finished dish. It's just like a little orzo, shrimp, kale, veggie mix. And then I'm gonna have it with a Topo Chico. This is the grapefruit one. I tried it for the first time yesterday and it's so good, I love it. So glad that I picked up this flavor as well. But that is dinner and it all looks just like so amazing. And then for dessert, I showed this on the last What I Eat In A Day, but these are the Perfect Snacks refrigerator peanut butter cups this is the dark chocolate sea salt I only have one at a time so once I'm done with my dinner I'm just gonna have one of these and then call it a night but that is pretty much it for this what I eat in a day the only other thing that I'm gonna consume which I showed in the last what I eat in a day is some peppermint tea that I'm gonna have just right before I go to bed along with my supplements which again I did show in the last what I eat in a day so I didn't think that we need to go over that again in this one just a heads up on that dinner that I made obviously Obviously, I'm not eating the whole thing. I have a ton of leftovers right here that I'll be able to eat throughout the week. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video of what I eat when I'm trying to recover from a weekend where I went a little bit crazy. And just a reminder, I do vary up what I eat every day. So this isn't typically what I eat every single day, but this is a good indication of what I do when I'm trying to kind of reset my nutrition and my eating habits and kind of detox in a way. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions on anything that I ate or on intermittent fasting like I said I do practice that by the time I consumed my smoothie it was actually about 1 p.m. so as you guys can see behind me I have about 20 minutes to eat my dinner and my dessert so I'm on track for my eight hour window I don't think I ever explained it in the last one I fast for 16 hours and then I have a window of eight hours that I can eat so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for now and say goodnight so that I can finish up my dinner and I will see you guys in my next video bye